Hello, good morning everybody. Uh, today's a new day. It was actually a very, very nice night here last night. Um, the sun's just coming up, kind of barely. Um, anyway, it's time to get the trees, finally. After all that work, the trees are finally gonna come. So I'm gonna go pick them up. Um, that's about an hour away from here. Um, thought it was a little further, so it's not too bad. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but we've got the doggies <clears throat> in the back. They're kind of like my right hand. So I guess I have two right hands uh, since there's two dogs. But anyway, um, I'll see what I can uh, get of them loading the trees up. Um, and then I'm going to put trees in. So tonight, uh, or this afternoon, according to the, the weather uh, app, it says it's going to rain pretty good around one o'clock this afternoon so I'll do what I can of the trees hopefully it doesn't take long hopefully I can get a good couple trees in um, it's supposed to rain the rest of the day pretty heavy um, <clears throat> so I'll do what I can and then um, I think I'll just move into the um, into the shop and start doing some work in there um, there's plenty of electric work and all sorts of other stuff to do um, so, nevertheless, if it's, if it's bad weather, there's always something to do somewhere else. So, um, I guess I will, uh, we'll have a busy day still. Um, I may have to make a run down the road to get some electrical supplies, but it's fine. Um, I would like to start framing soon, but we'll have to see about that. Anyway, um, I'll get back with y'all, and, uh, we'll get the tree. Hey y'all. So, dog hair is floating around in here. So I got, I got my trees. Man, it was a fast load up. Um, it is about an hour away from uh, from the farm. Um, the load up was pretty fast. Bunch of guys just they had it all well oiled machine. Um, they had it ready. They threw them on there, loaded them up. Man, I really thought 300 would be a lot more than that, but I guess not. I was scared I have a 14 foot dump trailer and I was thinking they would not fit in the 14 foot dump trailer oh boy was I wrong um anyway they only take up the front half but then I have some tree protectors that take up the rest so um look I'll just show you a quick drive-by of everything incognito um so <clears throat> they, they they dug all these trees up I don't know when and then they heal them in how you see them with the dirt. Um, they just kind of lay them down there and throw dirt on top of them. And that's pretty much it, you know? Neat little operation here. Um, I like to be a little snoopy and see how they uh, have their irrigation and all that kind of stuff. Good stuff to know. But anyway, yeah, they just hopped on, loaded me up, and man, that was it. It was good. Oh, well, these are a little bit bigger trees. So um, I have uh, three to four foot and um, some four to five foot trees. That's what I got. So anyway, that's that. Now I'm going back to the house and I'm going to start planting them. Um, I was concerned about that auger size from a video or two ago. Looks like it's fine. That 12, uh, 12 inch auger is going to be just fine. Um, do some snipping on these trees. He gave me a little advice on some of them. Um, so I'm really excited to get them in the ground. Um, I'm sure after the third or fourth tree, I will not be excited anymore. And then I only have like 296 more to go. Um, but anyway, let me pay attention to the road and get along and get to planting. Um, yes, still the storm is coming and uh, I wanna get as much done as I can. Uh, today and uh, he said the rest should be okay. Just keep them wet. So I'll see what I could do. All right I'll see y'all here in a few. Bye Okay, made it back started unloading the trailer um, Just to take a quick peek There are my tree protectors And here are all the trees So they have them loaded on there. They just put the tarp over them uh, Just a bunch of roots Believe it or not, that's 300 they vary in size from, 
what did I say? Three to four? Four to five foot? So, anyway, let's start getting them planted. <coughs> the dogs are feeling frisky today. They're playing. All right, so these holes are deep. Um, so anyway, these are the Avalon. This is the where they grafted them. They just grow a rootstock, cut it, and then graft on the new one, and then train it off to grow. So he told me to find the top root and plant it just below that and snip this root off. So what's this, about two feet? My holes are about four foot. So it's a little deep. Okay. So, you know, I'm all about making deals. The trees are going good. You gotta keep them in water or some kind of dirt or something like that so the roots don't dry out. So I made a deal with Mother Nature. I said, hey man, well, hey woman, help me out. You know, when I get these trees in the ground, let's let it pour, let it rain really good. You know, she's like, yeah, I'll do it. No problem. But Father Time, wasn't in on this deal. And he said, uh-uh-uh, I'm gonna let you get some done and I'm gonna let it rain buckets on you. So that's where we're at. It's raining, really good. It's just pouring. So anyway, I'm glad we at least have some rain. Um, it made it a little extra muddier out there and I wanted to finish the rows I was on. I got about, 30, 60, 65, 65 or so trees done. It took me just about two, three hours, something like that. So it's all right. I have a lot more to go and I'll keep working on it. Probably tomorrow, because it's gonna be really muddy when this is done. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Hello, good morning. So, these past few days, uh, I've been putting trees in the ground. So, we last touched base when it started raining. That was two days ago, yesterday. It was cold, it was wet, no rain, but it was cold. 
and uh, I was determined to get all the trees in the ground so I didn't do any filming. <clears throat> um, I started about 9 in the morning, finished up right about 6. Um, I still average right about two and a half minutes per tree. Um, but it was a long day. It was a cold, kind of miserable day. Um, you're on the ground, scratching the dirt, filling up the holes. Um, and uh, my hands were cold. Gloves were wet. My knees were wet. I had sand all over the place. Um, it was kind of miserable. But hey, it's all done. So here's a look at it. I was also picking up stumps, so there's a trailer full of stumps also. Um, but, yeah, that's it. That was some work. Um, but the feeling of actually being done, the accomplishment, is, is awesome. Um, oh, hey, by the way, that's one of my other hats. Thanks again, Ring Power. Um, anyway. So the plan for today is to start on the electrical and the framing in the shop. Um, I'm excited and not excited. I'm tired from yesterday. <laughs> um, even sleeping last night, everything was hurting. Um, <clears throat> so, but uh, I'm gonna unload this trailer real fast. I'll just dump it into the burn pile and uh, head down the road, um, go get some lumber and some more electrical stuff and uh, we'll get going. We'll see how this goes. I'll try to check in and we'll check in with y'all later. Hey, so I'm getting ready to dump this trailer and I'm kicking dirt around this pile, um, which I previously burned about two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. And I, I saw a flame I'm quite surprised. Maybe I'm just naive. I knew that, you know, these these burn piles can burn for a while. I didn't think they would burn two to three weeks out. I'm going to do some calculation, figure out exactly when it was, because um, that blows my mind. But, ah, oh, it's nice and warm. But anyway, I don't know if you can see it. It's still there, and there's a flame every once in a while on it. So, Smokey the Bear is right. Make sure your fires are out. Um, this has been covered with dirt and ash and all that. And I think what happened was some of this wood or whatever that was around here. Yeah, I guess the, it's been burning inside of here, but, um, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's definitely on fire. That's pretty amazing. I can still see flames on it. <laughs> So, hey, anyway, I guess I don't have to light my fire. It's gonna burn itself. All right, just thought I'd share that with you.